Well, good morning, website fans. Today we're looking at lesson six of Unit 2 and Computer Science Discoveries. Today's question of the day is how can we change the style of text on a web page? If you remember two days ago or two class days ago, you were in lesson four and you were putting in information into your web page and it looked kind of just like some paragraphs. Well, today we're going to start adding some excitement to it with color and so forth. And we're going to do that using CSS. It's Cascading Style Sheets, a language used to describe how HTML elements should be styled. The new code you're going to be looking at is text decoration, and then you give it a value, like a value. Text align is a value, like center, right, and left. Font size, be a num the value is a number. Font family, the value is a type of font. And the value of color is whatever value you give it, like red, purple, aqua, whatever. So those are what we'll, we're going to be putting in today. The key to everything in Unit 2, even Lesson 6, is that you do the do this. You'll see what I mean. Do this. Okay, here's a sample website. Look at this. There's different text. This is all italicized. You got purple header. You got red, smaller header. It's beautiful. Continue. Adding. Oh, look at this. This web lab page. I'm going to get rid of myself here. This web lab project is using new language to add style to the page. With a partner, explore both the index and the CSS style files. Be ready to discuss the following. What changes in this new language are taking making the happening to the page? How is this language different from HTML and how are the I index HTML and style.css files connected? Take a look at that. Whoa. This style.css, that's what's making these blue and this one red. Isn't that fascinating and exciting? How do I switch files? Look at this. Click the name of the file you want to look at in the menu on the left. This is how you switch. Okay. Very good. All right. You can watch this video on your own. Go ahead and pause me while you watch the video on your own. I'm going to click continue. All right, look at this. There's a do this. This HTML file uses a style sheet to give the page a particular style. The style sheet contains information about what each of the HTML elements should look like. Find the code in the style sheet. Click on style.css that is making h1 heading red. Look at this, h1, look at this. This right here is vital. That's what every one of your style sheets should look like, or style parts. Change the code for the color of N h1 heading from red to a different color. Ooh, let's do that. Aqua. Aquamarine. Look at that. I did it. Yay. All right. We move on. Find the CSS rule set in the style sheet that determines the styles for H1. So I got to click on this. H1 tag. Look at that. Using the same pattern, write a new CSS rule that will determine the style for the H3 tag. Well, I don't know. How do I make a new rule set? There's a question answering right here. To make a new rule set, you'll need a selector. Look at this. It tells you there's little question answering things here. So I suppose I would follow this pattern. So enter. H, oh, I'm going to press enter again so I can have more space in between here. 
H3 bracket, enter. Now what? Uh, color. Purple. Oh, it looks like I have to have, so it has color, colon, and then the value, and then a semicolon. What's next? Font family. I'm going to do fantasy ooh and then enter and then closing bracket so did i follow the rule that was given up here h3 open bracket i gave some i gave color colon value semicolon and look at that i have my closing bracket Add code to set a different color. Oh, I did it. Yay. All right. So now I've done that. I can move on. Okay. Do this. Find the CSS rule set in the file sheet that determines the style for the paragraph tag. Okay. Paragraph tag right here. Change the text size of the paragraphs and the headings. Paragraphs and the headings. So, font size, how about 18, and this one can be 48. Oh, no wonder this turned out crazy because I got too big. All right, so did I do both of those things? Fine, I found the style rule the CSS rule set, and I changed the text size of the paragraphs. Okay. Now that I've done both of the do this is, I can move on. Remember, if you have any questions, you can look over off to the upper left or the upper right. Okay. You can pause me and watch. I've met Danny. Danny's a great, great young lady, strong. She loves to lift weights and she programs robots. All right, what is a style sheet? What is CSS? How do I create a new style sheet? What should I name my style sheet? How do I rename a file? How do I link a style sheet to a web page? Oh, today we're going to be adding a style sheet to a web page. So you press add CSS. Okay, click. Now, to add CSS rule set, to an HTML, you need to create a style sheet document, which we have. Okay, it's there. So, but I would just press this if I wanted to add another one. I'm going to delete that though. Okay. So, number two, there it is, style.css. Number three, you have in order to link these two, because look, there's all this information. But in the style sheet, there is stuff that isn't happening. Why? Because this is not linked to this to make this over here change. Okay, so here's what we have to do. In between head and head, we have to link it. L-I-N-K, link. REL equals quote style sheet. This will never change. It's always going to be style sheet. Okay, but keep going. Space href equals Okay, what's the name of it? style.css style.css quote closed there we go all right so now if i look at this my the purple h1 should be purple 
and my H3 should be orange and my paragraph should be teal. And it didn't happen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. This href does not say href. It says herfy. H-R-E-F. There we go. Now it happened. See how that one little letter, one change of letter can mess up everything. All right. So now that I've got that, I did all the do this. I made this look like this, and I have this awesome little page here. I'm going to click finish. All right, choose them the following activities. Okay, seriously, the goal is to get better at this stuff. And so choose one or two of these. So this one, okay, you got to debug the font size. Okay, by the way, if this ever happens, it just says code the web, refresh, and There, let's click on something. Okay, there's a bug. We gotta fix the bug. Guess what? This one is a, there needs to be a hyphen. See how that changed everything? Takes you back, debug the paragraph, the missing paragraph style. Find and fix the problem. Oh, look at this. Somebody didn't see how we have the section, bracket, information, close bracket. Section, bracket, information, close bracket. Section, uh-oh, we didn't put, someone didn't put that there. If you don't have it, it matters. Okay. Do a couple of those, do two, to choose two out of all these seven. Yeah, I did my two. Try something this, okay. So notice that there's a check mark. This is an assessment. I'm gonna be checking this. We're gonna be checking this out, making sure that you're doing this. Okay, do this, link the style sheet to the web page. Okay, do that. What's the style called? I don't know. How do I create a new style sheet? How do I add a style sheet to a web page? Follow this direction in order to do that. Make paragraph text different size. Make it different color. Remember that? How should I create a new style? How do I rename my file? So and it tells you in here, this is your reference page. This is what's gonna help you. Okay, I don't wanna give you any answers. I'm going to finish and move on and choose two or three more of these to do. So in summary, the trick is this. Do the do this on every single page. Link your documents. Link your CSS to your HTML with this. Go into HTML. Less than link space REL equals style sheet in quotes space href equals and then whatever you call this. Whatever you call this. Okay, if I change the name of it, if I rename it to style one. Okay. Look at that. It all went away. Now I have to change this to style one. Okay. So that's how you link. Finally, in here is where you do all of the changing of colors, paragraphs, style. You'll be doing picture changes in there or adjustments and styling. And if you have questions about what's going on, this is these questions match. This is your help reference. 
So you can refer to this video at any time. And if you do the do this and you follow along and you, you pay attention to what it's asking you to do and style the sheets and you link it using the correct lettering and wording, you will do just fine. Okay, make sure you ask questions if you need help and refer to your reference parts on every single page. I'm Mr. Chadwick telling you to please have a great day and do unto others as you would have them.